Hey, Shalom Saints, this is Pastor John Tatum. I'm here and I'm talking to a great beloved brother uh, in the kingdom, Brother Michael. Brother Michael was just telling me and sharing some things about what? He's sharing, sharing some things about farming uh -huh. and about the reality of food. The food that comes to your shelves and everything. And I was just telling him that I, at one point a few years ago, I bought a bag of apples. They look so great, big. Uh, they call them the red delicious. And I took them home and I had the worst experience in my life. I pulled the apple out, washed it off, and bit into it. It had no taste whatsoever. Wow. This is a horrible experience. And he was telling me why something like that could happen. So Mike, lay it out. Take it me. away. Well, basically, what is happening with the food, especially I can talk to in America, is because I've seen the mechanism by which all of our food is prepared. And we've all been victimized for well over five decades in America with the food that we eat and we're suffering chronically now in America with the obesity issue and with the fact that people are malnourished even though they eat every day, they're malnourished. And that's because of the fact that the growers are not concerned with uh, growing healthy food. They're concerned with growing a commodity that goes on a grocery store shelf. And it has to meet certain rigid requirements to even be awarded the privilege of sitting on the shelves of all these national grocery store chains. And so that apple you talked about, it goes through a different process than it would have gone through normally if you had grown that apple yourself. Because on the big farms where they want to produce an apple that goes on that shelf to look a certain way, first they have to pick it when it's green. A green apple is an immature fruit. Any immature fruit, whether it's an apple, an orange, a pear, whatever it is, that immature fruit has not come to its full fruition. Wow. And so therefore the nutrients that God created for that fruit to bear when it was time to be consumed never gets to that fruition. Wow. So basically you're getting premature babies wow. off of the plants and the trees and the bushes that we serve to our families, we're getting fruit that never reached its full potential. And so you eat an apple and you say to yourself, man, that apple didn't have no taste. Well, there's a lot of reasons why. Because basically, to make a green apple red in time, on time for the supermarket, they have to put it in a container and then they gas it. Mm -hmm. And they do a chemical reaction on the skin that permeates into the flesh. A flesh that is pre that's premature. It has not ripened. And so we've been eating food that is not truly uh, uh, ripened for decades. And then we want to know why our health are deteriorating. We're eating three meals a day. We don't understand why we're so tired. We don't understand why our energy level yeah. just won't come. I eat right. I buy fresh food from the grocery store. I buy organic. But we never really seem to get a handle on the problem is the source of your food. It's not clean, first of all, because the chemicals they use to bring food to market are all pretty much carcinogens. They are now uh, GMOs. This Frankenstein food, you really don't want to know about it because you just stop eating or you start growing your own food. Well, we want you to tell them because we want them to grow their own food. <laughs> because genetically modified food goes down to the cellular level. That's right. And what they're doing is mixing in uh, botulism into your food, wow. into your corn. Explain botulism. Botulism is a disease that kills, okay? Mm, mm, and mm. they put it in the corn, into the cellular form of the corn to kill the boll weevil wow. that was eating the corn. Wow. Well, if something will kill the boll weevil, what do you think it's gonna do to you if you eat it all your life? Yeah. It may taste good going down, but I'ma tell you, just like lead, you can be poisoned slowly by lead over time. Mm. You can be poisoned by arsenic over time. Wow. You could take in arsenic every day of your life and not know mm. that eventually your body will say, I can't process it no more. I can't do it no wow. more. You know, they and say, then you have chronic wow. diseases that don't know why. Powerful. And I'll give you an example. A lot of people don't know it. Do you know apple seeds contain a high amount of arsenic? 
That's why you're not supposed to eat those right. apple That's seeds. Right. That's right. Okay? Wow. And so there are a lot, there's a lot of different chemicals in your food that could be harmful to you if taken in larger concentrations. But the problem is the food is not processed properly because it's too immature. A lot of those arsenic levels can be lessened if you let the fruit ripen. If you let it get soft and fall off the tree, that's a very safe apple to eat. Mm. And it's full of nutrients. That's the part, the micronutrients is the part we don't get to. Because if you, got, if you don't put the micronutrients in, there are no micronutrients coming out. And that's what I'm talking about in terms of our food not being live food. They don't feed you live food in most grocery stores because they're growing it with synthetic petrochemical fertilizers. Mm. We're not built to live off petrochemical fertilizers. Wow. We're built to live off of all types of uh, micronutrients uh, like zinc, like uh, things in your body, uh, calcium, iron. Yes. You know, yes, people yes. stopped cooking with iron skillets. They didn't know how many vitamins they were getting just cooking in an wow. iron skillet. We went to that magical yeah. Teflon stuff because it was easy and clean. <laughs> the, worst wow. carcin the worst carcinogen you can ever get to put on your plate every day, you're feeding your family poison. Wow. This is now why it, got, it poisoned so many people and it got so close to becoming public knowledge. They finally banned Teflon and gave, gave the company almost 15 years to sell all of their stuff. Wow. Say get get rid of it, get rid of it, but you can't make it after 2015. So it's it's in our ignorance that we have done our best to feed our families, but ignorance is not an excuse. You know, when you lie in there dying uh, from all type of ailments that could have been prevented had you been able to get to a clean source of healthy food for your 60, 70 years of life. And your body is a tremendous engine. It takes in those micronutrients and converts them to energy, converts it to cell, to muscle, to everything that you were created to do while you're on this planet. But guess what? You, in one time or another, are gonna become that micronutrient for the next generation. Because from dust to dust, that's how we come. We come from dust and we going back there. But the whole planet is regenerative in that way. And if we would just work in balance with that natural way that God created this planet, we would all be better off. I mean, I'm a victim. I, 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 I thought I was eating healthy most of my life. Wow. But even though I was eating right, I was eating more vegetables than, uh, than flesh, I still became obese. Never could understand it. My doctors couldn't understand it. It wasn't until I found out what was really the, the content of the food I was eating. It looked good. It looked beautiful. It was like just the best looking, what they call good food, good eating. But nutritionally, it was always lacking. The only thing made it taste good was the spices that they would put into it. You yeah. would take, but you could take an old shoe, and if you cook it right, it'll taste good too. <laughs> <laughs> now you put the right stuff on an old piece of leather. I'm serious. You can process an old piece of leather. You process it right, you can get it tender enough to cut it. You think you eat a liver. You would think you're eating liver. So this is what's been served on the plates of America wow. for almost 100 years. Our ancestors coming out of Jim Crow and slavery were healthier eating all of the what at the time they called the, 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 the scraps from the master table. They were healthier then than we are today. Powerful. Physically. Thank you so much, Brother Michael. Thank you for that. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Michael Howard. I'm the CEO and president of Eden Place uh, Farms, Eden Place Nature Center. And basically we're located in the heart of Chicago. We farm over seven acres of land in the city proper. We also have a nature center called Eden Place Nature Center where we have a children's farm that has horses, goats, chickens, ducks, geese, wow. and turkeys. And so basically we're located at 4911 South Shields Avenue in Chicago. You can go to our website, www.EdenPlaceNatureCenter.com 
or www.edenplacefarms.org. Thank you so much, Brother Michael. Thank you. Bless you.